Hey everybody, Coach Josh here. I want to give you guys a quick walkthrough about uh, how everything's going to look as you come into the uh, facility starting June 1. So uh, first of all, we have uh, our outdoor area. We have five lines for you to be able to wait in spots. Uh, if for some reason uh, you come and you see these spots filled and all the spots outside are filled and all the spots inside are filled, just stay in your car until a spot opens up. It should be rather quick, but it allows us to kind of have a nice traffic flow as we go inside. So let's head inside. I'll show you the rest. Notice our blue lines are really all the way throughout. So there's another spot here. All of these are six feet apart. So you would wait at each spot as you go. We've got a little bit of a whiteboard uh, <clears throat> communication here just to kind of keep you guys updated on what you need to do when you come into the facility. Um, first thing, we're gonna make sure that you fill out a screening form. Now this screening form, uh, we're gonna ask that you fill that out once and uh, you're gonna sign that waiver. You'll have to do that prior to participating in any of your classes. And we're going to have a Google form for that. We'll also have some paper copies at the facility, but we are highly encouraging taking care of this online so that way we can minimize any touch points inside the facility. Uh, first thing you'll do as you come in is you'll come into the facility to wash your hands. We'll utilize this station right here for hand washing. We have hand sanitizer uh, provided by Blue Stem uh, Distillery or uh, you can also use the soap and water. Okay, so uh, same thing with hand washing, you know, wash your hands with soap and water, 20 seconds, dry them off. So this station right here is available. Right now, uh, we're really encouraging personal items. Keep them off the front desk. Uh, no use of the water cooler right now and no use of the coffee station. You can get retail items, but the biggest thing we're encouraging on your retail items is make sure, don't grab six things before you only take one. Um, you know, if I know I'm gonna get B's and G's, just grab your B's and G's and head on your way. For house charges, our coaches will take care of your house charges. So there's no house charge sheet up at the front desk, so don't be looking for it. Uh, the coach, let the coach know when you come out to the training station and say, hey, could you house charge me for an O2 or a Kill Cliff or some, some protein? All right, let's walk around and let's show you the rest of the facility. Uh, our markings on the floor go all the way throughout your walking space. The inside small area is gonna be utilized for one-on-one -on -one PT. So we have four one-on-one -on -one PT stations that we can use. When our PT clients come in, you will basically be in your station for the entire time. So for your warm-up, your cool down, uh, and all of your workout, you and your coach will designate all the equipment in your area for what you're gonna use that time. When you come into the through the facility, uh, whether you're doing PT or doing the outdoor training, uh, we encourage you as you come in to go ahead and utilize the restroom if you need to. That way when you get done with the restroom, you can go out to your outdoor training space or you can go to your PT area and kind of stay there for the duration. Now you will be able to use the, the restroom at different times uh, during your training session, but if you're outside on the outdoor facility, you're just gonna need to come back in through the front entrance again so we can kind of have a one-way traffic flow. Um, so anytime you need to come back into the, in through the facility, you're gonna come back in through the front door. Uh, as you're going through the facility here, we have a walkway that goes out to the big side, but that's not something that we're utilizing right now. Uh, that door is closed for a reason. We're not utilizing the, the garage door area either. Um, that is for uh, in-body appointments right now um, and then for future use when we can get into the, uh, into the big side. Uh, you'll notice when we go into the big side, a lot of the flooring's gone because we have it outside, so there's not really any use for training out there right now. If you're an outdoor training in, in group environment, you're gonna exit the facility into the outdoor training space through this side door right here. So we'll come out through here. You'll notice we have hand sanitizer uh, pumps in multiple places in the facility. So at any time, if you need some, it's probably there for you. Come on out here. So this is our outdoor training space. We have 10 stations to use. Originally, we thought we'd only be able to use eight, um, but we do have 10 stations. Uh, we have a couple of stations in the gravel. What we've done is we've doubled up your rubber flooring on this thing, and uh, we've had a few training sessions out here now, and it's worked really well. So we'll walk all the way down here. I'll show you kind of what a training station will look like for you, and then we'll show you the equipment. So this is gonna be the coach's station here. Um, and this is right in front of our garage door. We'll talk about online training here in a second, but your station will basically be two stall mats plus your turf area. So you've got, you've got basically an eight by 12 foot section to train in. So you can be training, doing things on the turf, you can do things on your mats, but that's gonna be your entire training station. Each training station will have a bucket. Now what we are encouraging is that uh, personal items kept to a minimum. So if you just have, 
you know, your knee sleeves that you need or your shoes that you need or your jump rope, just bring those items with you. Maybe your water bottle, bring that with you and keep that. Don't be having six duffel bags and everything else. Uh, ladies, if you got your purse, you can bring that with you or leave it in your car. Uh, but this little spot right here is gonna be where you're gonna put your personal items. In that box, you'll also have a foam roller, a lacrosse ball, and a small whiteboard with a, with a marker for you as well. That should be like everything you kind of need for your training session. Um, but each station will have this. These stations will also be sanitized every time after we get done. We'll sanitize our foam rollers, our lacrosse balls, and we'll sanitize your bucket before the next crew comes in. This flooring here, the turf and the mats, will also be sprayed down between every session with a leave-on disinfectant that we have. Now, um, this is our coach's station here. We have our clock. We have our TV for our online clients and our webcam. Now, one thing about the, the online experience, it is gonna change a little bit because obviously our live coaches here now have athletes that they're gonna be coaching. So they may not be in your camera view the entire time, but they will still be able to see our clients on the TVs while they're doing their online classes. We've actually experimented with that for a couple of times with our online classes and had a few people here. Also, uh, the clock is gonna be really here for us. So those people that do the online stuff, you know, we're gonna encourage you to probably have your own little clock system set up. It's hard to see the clock anyways when you're online, especially if you're on an iPad, uh, but that's just something that's gonna kind of make an adjustment. We'll have a, a wipes container right here for using the wipes outside, uh, and then I'll show you how you guys are gonna get your equipment. So every time you come, you're gonna need to grab your equipment for the session, and your coach will instruct you on when and how to do that. But this door is kind of a one-way uh, access point. So this door, you'll come in. When you come in here, you'll see we also have another hand sanitizer pump right here. And then we have these markings on the floor for our social distancing purposes. Through here is kind of this U-shaped little uh, equipment collection. So we've got dumbbells, we've got kettlebells. Uh, now I know a lot of people are still bringing back their equipment. Uh, we've also got our, um, our boxes. And, and barbells, everything's here. Each barbell actually has its own set of collars already ready with it. So you don't even have to get into a, collar, uh, a bucket for your collars or anything else. Everything's kind of designated to its own bar. We just uh, sanitized and cleaned all these bars and got them all ready to go for you, oiled them back up. Um, plates, all the plates that we need are here. This is where we, we store our foam rollers and our boxes for the end of the night. Uh, and then what you'll see here, if you see the other snapshot of the gym, We've actually got some good construction stuff going on right now that we're wrapping up. A lot of the flooring is gone. Obviously, the turf is out right now. Um, so we've got some new things coming on in here uh, as we get ready for our next phase of reopening. So uh, jump ropes, we've got the jump ropes hanging on the rigs right now. We'll use those as needed. Um, but, uh, but basically, this is kind of your walkway through. So once you got your equipment, you would walk right back out the other side of the garage door. So you would walk out, and then you could go back out to your training space. So um, that's kind of how the flow is going to be. When you finish your training session, you will actually exit the building or you'll exit your training session out into the parking lot and you can go back to your cars. If for some reason, again, if you wanted to pick something up uh, after, your, after your workout, coach might say, hey, is anybody going to house charge anything? You might say, hey, coach, put me down for an O2. You would go back then through the front of the building, grab your retail, and then you may exit the building. Um, guys, I think, I think the biggest thing that, that I want to, uh, just mention to you guys is, you know, my pastor, uh, told a story the other day about, uh, he said, you know, this is kind of a time where you have, you know, your, your grandkids, his grandkids, my kids, and I, as parents, I, I think a lot of us have experienced this too, is, is when your kids go, well, why does he get to do this? And we don't, you know, and the answer a lot of times is, well, cause you're different. And I think, uh, we're at a, re a time right now where, uh, and I know just in engaging with other gym owners and, and other members and things like that is we have people asking, well, hey, you know, why do we have to do this and somebody else gets to do that? Um, the reality is, is everybody's doing different things right now. Uh, but what we are doing is we believe that uh, we want to adhere to what the CDC says, what our state says, and, and we're following those guidelines. And, and ultimately, my biggest answer is, is because we're different. And uh, I think a lot of you join this gym and have stayed with this gym for a long time because we do do things differently. And uh, I would just encourage you guys, like we are making the best decisions that we can for our members, for our staff, and for our community right now. And uh, th the other thing is, is guys, we got 28 days of this. And uh, if, if you've been able to stick this out through online training all this time, 
Uh, I can tell you right now, this is gonna be a lot of fun. We're all gonna be back together. We all wanna start moving barbells and we wanna get back inside the gym and we wanna start doing all these things. But ultimately, all of us just wanna be back together and we're gonna get to do that. And so uh, the biggest thing is, is trust us. We've got this things going and also, you know, give us a little grace because we're going to be learning through this as well. Our coaching staff met this weekend. We went through some walkthrough stuff and we're going to meet again next, next weekend and we're going to figure out, okay, hey, what went well this week? What do we need to improve on this week? And then we're going to get better for the following week. June 26th is what the governor says is going to be the next point where we know if we get to move into phase four of this. Um, my biggest encouragement, well, let's do our part so that we can, we can know that we did everything in our power to help us move forward in reopening our state again. Guys, I'm looking so forward to seeing all of you this week. And uh, if you have any other questions, please let us know. Uh, we'll be putting out some documents as well to this that's going to kind of walk you through the process. But I hope this helps on a walkthrough and uh, hope to see everybody this Monday.